So I'm walking around Jamestown, and I couldn't help but notice all the Lucille Ball murals around town. Well, I got walking a little further, and soon I discovered there is actually a Lucy Desi Museum here. I'm actually gonna go check it out right now. To learn more about this place and this amazing woman, I've got some couch time with Journey Gunderson, the museum's executive director. Hey Journey, it's so nice to meet you. So tell us, where are we exactly? We are in the living room of Lucy and Ricky Ricardo, uh, their Manhattan apartment, in which there were 168 episodes of I Love Lucy. This is one of the most popular exhibits in our museum attraction. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the most iconic living rooms in television history because uh, I Love Lucy is really regarded as the most popular sitcom of all time. Uh, and this is where a lot of the hijinks ensued. So I've seen all these murals around town. What do they have to do with Lucille Ball and Desi? Jamestown, New York is Lucille Ball's hometown. And uh, so Jamestown celebrates her legacy in the form of this museum, as well as an annual comedy festival in her honor. So tell me about the Lucy Desi Museum. How did this all come to be? Well, the family of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, their kids, Lucy Arnaz and Desi Jr., uh, worked with the Arts Council of Jamestown in the late 80s to establish the museum and really donated the majority of our collection. So why would this be a great place to visit in the winter months? It gives people a really cozy feeling of nostalgia. Whether you are an Isle of Lucy fan who remembers watching it in the 50s when it aired, or whether you are just kind of trying to figure it all out, everyone who comes in here gets this sense of being put back in time. So they remember watching things on TV with uh, TV trays with their families, or you know, we get little kids in here who have seen I Love Lucy on Hulu or on the Hallmark Channel, and the whole family enjoys it because it's a sense of nostalgia for a, a time that's gone. So what can people expect to see here at the museum? People can see costumes, props, and set pieces from I Love Lucy. Uh, they can see personal items from the estates of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Uh, we have Lucille Ball's Mercedes Benz. Uh, really, the list is endless. So do you have any favorite items in the collection? Probably my favorite item is the very iconic polka dot dress uh, worn by Lucy Ricardo on I Love Lucy. Lucy Ricardo was a fashion icon because this was really the first time that um, women all over America could see uh, what a woman was wearing on a daily basis. And in many ways, Lucy Ricardo was a trendsetter and was famous for her polka dot dresses. So I hear you have something very special for us to see today. I do. I'll be right back. This is the 1952 Emmy Award won by Lucille Ball for Best Comedian for her role on I Love Lucy. Oh, wow, can I hold it? You may. Thank you. This is the Emmy Award Lucille Ball won for the second season of I Love Lucy in 1952. So the show was reaching incredible levels of popularity, and so it was potentially devastating when Lucille Ball became pregnant. They made the controversial decision to write her pregnancy into the script, and the episode in which Little Ricky is born to this day holds the Nielsen Chair record for most households with televisions tuning in. Wow, Journey, thank you so much for sharing this piece of history with me. It's been great learning about what an extraordinary woman Lucy was. That's what we do here at the Lucy Desi Museum in Lucy's hometown. Everyone can agree that I Love Lucy was hilarious, but what many people don't know was that the show was a pioneer in technical innovations in television history. I Love Lucy was the first television series to be filmed rather than broadcast live. Hence, the rerun was born, ultimately allowing I Love Lucy to be seen in 77 countries and in 22 different languages. Here at the museum, you can actually see the machine that was used to edit the show, fondly referred to as the three-headed monster.
One of the unique features here at the museum is the recreation of Ricky Ricardo's Manhattan nightclub, the Tropicana. If you're looking to add a classic Hollywood twist to your event, look no further than the Tropicana Room. One of the fun and interactive things you can do here at the museum is to reenact one of comedy's most famous scenes, the Vitamia Vegemin commercial. I'm about to give this my best shot. I can't make any promises that this will be a great performance, but I can tell you it's probably gonna be a lot of fun. Hello friends, I'm your Vita v <laughs> Hello friends, I'm your Vita 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 Vegemin. I'm your Vita Vita Vegemin girl. Vita Mita Vegemin. Hello friends, I'm your Vita Mita Vegemin girl. Are you tired, listless, run down? Do you poop out at parties? The answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. Vita Mita Vegemin. Yes, Vita Vita Vegemin. <laughs> Should I start from the top? Yes, Vita Mita Vegemin contains vitamins, meat, vegetables, and minerals. Yes, with Vita Mita Vegemin, you can spoon your way to a good health. All you have to do is take a big spoonful after every meal. Mmm, it's so tasty too. So why don't you join the thousands of people, thousands of peppy people, and get a great big bottle of Vita Mita Vegemin tomorrow. That's Vita Mita Vegemin. <laughs> So if you're ever in Jamestown and it's a little chilly outside, look no further than the Lucy Desi Museum to warm your heart.